Hi, I'm Chris, the developer of the Tonally app, and today we're gonna have a look at the Circle of Fifths. Maybe you panic a little if you hear the term Circle of Fifths. At least that's the way most people here in Germany feel about it, as it goes by its fear-spreading name, Der Quintenzirkel. But don't worry, it's actually pretty simple. And the brilliant system that provides information about key signatures, which keys are close to each other, and in my opinion, the most powerful feature, it nicely groups together chords that belong to a key. And that is why it forms the basis for most features of the Tonally app. The circle of fifths is arranged in, guess what, fifths. A fifth is most of all a difficult word, but it is also the fifth tone of a scale. I'll show you this in the app. If I count five notes on this C major scale, one, two, three, four, five, I'll end up on the G. The G is located right next to the C in the wheel. The distance is a fifth. If I set the G as the new root note by rotating the wheel, you can see that an accidental, the F sharp, has been added to the staff. And you can see that the F sharp also joined the highlighted chords. The rest of the tones remain the same as in the C major scale. Doing the same procedure as before in this key signature, counting five tones in the G scale, one, two, three, four, five, you will see that we end up on the D. And you see, again, this is located right next to the G in the wheel. The distance from G to D again is a fifth. Setting the wheel to D, you can see that yet another accidental joined the team, this time the C sharp. You now know which chords belong to D major and that it has two accidentals, the C sharp and the F sharp. You can continue doing this until you reach the C again, but you can also do it in the opposite direction. Then, instead of a sharp, a flat will be added to the key signature. If you don't know what a sharp or a flat is doing, a sharp is increasing the tone by a half step and the flat is decreasing a tone by a half step. In a nutshell, each step in the circle of fifths adds an accidental to the key signature, either a sharp or a flat. And that's why it's so helpful with identifying key signatures and chords that belong to them. Also, you can see which keys are close to each other, as for example, G major only uses one different tone other than C major or D major and that is why they are located right next to each other in the circle of fifths. Another helpful information that is displayed in the app are the Roman numerals on the inner circle. They reflect the position of the chords in the scale. The first note or chord in the scale is represented with the 1, written as Roman numeral. The second with the 2, the third with the 3 and so on. Major chords are written in capital letters and minor chords in lowercase. This helps to work with progressions detached from a key. If you dig a little deeper into music theory, you will see and hear those numerals or numbers quite often. For example, the most famous jazz progression 251. The app also includes a traditional representation of the circle of fifths displaying only the root notes and the corresponding minor relatives in the inner circle. A minor relative is always three half steps lower than the major key. These are arranged next to each other because they share the same notes, chords and accidentals. So you can identify quickly that A minor is exactly the same as C major. That was a short insight on how the circle of fifths is built up and what you can do with it. Now try it yourself, discover it on your own, have fun practicing and see you next time.